few things are as wonderfully delicious as a fresh pastry. I mean, it's that little bit of joy, right? And what is not more joyful than a fresh pastry out of the oven and a, and a perfect coffee? Nat Stratton-Clark is the owner of Flora Bakehouse in Beacon Hill. Here you'll find all manner of sweet and savory treats. The menu focuses on seasonality while ensuring anyone who stops in can find something scrumptious to enjoy. So we've got gluten-free pastries, we've got vegan pastries, we've also got delicious full butter, full flour croissants that just melt in your mouth. So we really have something for everybody. Nat also owns Cafe Flora, which just celebrated its 30th anniversary, and Florette, located in SeaTac Airport's Concourse A. He initially thought the bakehouse would just be a commissary space, a place to bake for his other restaurants. But this neighborhood, well, it had other ideas. And the neighbors just kept knocking on the door. When can I get a croissant? When can I get a muffin? Can I get a coffee? Um, and we we're like, oh, okay, great, let's do it. Opening in COVID, I really wasn't sure what was gonna happen. I, you know, is anyone gonna come? So I peeked my head around the corner and there was literally a hundred people in line all the way down the block, around the corner. I mean, you, you couldn't help but not tear up. Now folks from near and far continue to line up for a taste of bakehouse favorites, like the almond croissant, seasonal Danish, and of course, the iconic vegan cinnamon roll. Mm. There is a reason people keep coming back for this cinnamon roll. It's that good. While the pastries are certainly a perfect way to start the day, Flora Bakehouse is an all day hangout. The charming and spacious rooftop patio is an ideal spot to take a date or meet up with friends. We're so excited to open the roof deck, to have a place to take your pastries, come sit on the roof deck, enjoy them, have a great coffee, have a glass of wine in the afternoon, just take in the beautiful view of Mount Rainier, the trees. I think this neighborhood is such a gorgeous place. I'm so excited for the neighborhood to get to enjoy it. Downstairs, massive windows give passersby a glimpse into the bakery itself, a chance to watch head baker Leslie Pettigrew and her team in action. And having these big windows meant that even before we were open, we got to know the neighbors. When you make food, you want to know who you're feeding it to. And when seeing people get excited about the food honestly makes it so much fun. Today, she's working on a batch of unicorn horns, colorful meringues that are a big hit with kids. And then I'm going to do a couple sections of purple and a couple sections of blue. They just get so excited. And quite often, you'll see a family walk by and on the way back, the child is already eating the unicorn horn and has kind of unicorn horn crumbs all over their face and they look so happy. Yes, the pastries are certainly crowd pleasing, but at its core, Flora Bakehouse is more than just a bakery. It's a space where the community can come together. It's about having a place that everyone is welcome to come, that you can come, feel comfortable, feel like you're getting that little bit of rest, that little bit of joy in your day. For Seattle Refined, I'm Brandon Bernstead.